Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm Mr. Orange. That's not my name, but I am the Orange player from United Kingdom, and we're going to be playing a one-of-a-kind map. I hope everybody clicked ready. There we go. We're playing a one-of-a-kind map. The only map that has something like this has the Great Wall of China. We're playing Xing Dynasty. Shang Dynasty? I, I never get it right. We're going to be playing World Domination Fixed. Alliances are on, no fog, no blizzards, no portals, and we're playing regular balance blitz dice. Now, the cool thing about this map, tons of little plus twos, nice little fours, and then a five in the bottom. The best part about this map is this wall. If you're on the Mongolian side trying to attack over the wall, you get an extra defender dice down here. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's true story. So if you cap... I actually have a crazy YouTube video from like October or November where I had a cap in Ganzu and somebody else had a cap in Alxa League and he rolled my cap and I got four defender dice. So he was rolling three attacking dice into my four defender dice and he hit my capital. It was an epic fucking video. That's in my uh, most epic games of all time playlist. This map is really cool because it's the only map like this. But it's only if you're attacking from the north side over to the south side, right? So, uh, okay, let's make some alliances. Let's try to get a bonus right away and uh, and see how we play. I kind of have an okay bonus for this plus two up here. Keep in mind, green's a bot and it's a medium AI, so it will cause some mayhem. Purple goes before me. I'm going to try to ally purple when it's his turn after red fortifies. He's really slow on the fortify. I'll just click ally now. Damn it, now we oh, fuck. I try to ally people not when the turn change pop-up comes, because that can block it. <laughs> they lost three times on his cap. He was sick. Go for Mongolia. That's the plan. Unless purple gets out of my way here. Okay, let's do this. Bro? Where'd my troops go? Kilton, you're the luckiest player I've ever seen. Lose all my troops turn one just hitting a couple two stacks. I think on average I should lose three troops killing four. I lost five, so. It's it's, it's less, less than average by a lot, but... <laughs> Sorry, if I, JC, if you responded to me, by the way, when I asked if you had a little one, I missed it. That's my bad. There's too much going on. We got Vampire Chicken in the chat. She turns one on Easter. She's a hoot. There we go. I got you. A South Park episode of Kyle and Pete would be funny. I wish there were more maps with quirky map rules like this. Yeah, it would be way cooler if there was more shit like this on different maps that we could play around. Like, this is a fun map. <laughs> is Blue going to break me? Probably. Two sevens? He's just going to fuck me up. Yeah. If I didn't get bad dice, different story. Okay, so you're just not a bonus lover? You don't love me? General Ozan? Brand new account. Okay, maybe I should have paid attention. If you see somebody with a brand new account, it means they haven't been beat down from being bonus breaker yet, and they don't know yet. That actually clap fucking popped my eardrum. That was too, uh, too good. Back of my hand too strong. Uh, what happened there? That was a super chat. Why is YouTube not showing my stuff? This is annoying. Uh, Mark Wise, Ram Dingle in the butt. Thank you, bro. I don't know why the super chats aren't popping up on the thing. I wonder why. Let me refresh. <laughs> the multi streaming things being weird. Whew. Kilt to getting clappered and breaking his back. I'm in a lot of trouble right now. Because green bot is still in my way. Purple's five is still in my way. Like, I can't even get all my troops here. Where do I even put all my troops? How do I survive? Yellow's going to knock my four out of the bottom. He's not going to let me. Maybe I have to come out. The bot's going to break red. Where do I even go? Blue, instead of taking any kind of a bonus, just doesn't want me to hold shit. Which, fair enough. But, like, what do I do now? 
maybe purple goes this way and I have some sort of chance to like run away from blue. And then if blue wants to hit me, he can hit me over the wall. What are you doing? All right, well, that was ridiculous. Purple won't ally me either. That's another new account. So we've got Eric66 from France. We've got Miraculous Fairness from Palestine. We've got General Crystallon from Belgium and General Ozan from France. Yes. No, not my, why am I one? Hit the red two, it's less attacking. Oh, he wants this bonus now. You want both bonuses? None of this lets me get my troops together. I am so dead. Do you guys see a, like a winning move? <laughs> Do you see a winning move of some kind? I mean, we had a terrible game last game, so maybe we can do it again. We pulled some magic off last game. Let's try it again. Maybe blue goes away now. I'm gonna offer blue an alliance. Maybe we can be friends and hold bonuses, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, green gets to the middle now. Yeah, it caused some problems. Okay. Cool. Why is it that no one ever reads the zombies caps idea I got? No, no, people have thought of it. 70% uh, combined with capitals or zombies combined with capitals or zombies combined with 70% where the humans have to also stop the zombies from getting to 70%, stuff like that. We would love to have uh, stuff where you could like mix the mix the stuff together. We need SMG to uh, build on the game. Because right now, um, everybody's getting very, very good at the game types and the settings that we have now. And the game's evolving to the point where it's like, it's getting more difficult to find viable competitive settings. Because everybody's just learning how to play everything. And once you know how to play everything, and everybody knows how to play everything, then only luck decides who wins. Once everybody can play the minimum threshold of skill, then only luck decides it. And maybe a little bit of skill can give you a bit of an advantage, but other than that, it's going to be mostly luck. So we actually need SMG to build more game modes or help or, or work with us to try to design more interesting, cool shit. And I'm hoping that happens in the next year or two. Is this Progger Fix? We're playing Fixed World Domination. <laughs> Blue is a new player. Look at username number. No, no, yeah, Medi. I, I was saying that. That's why he broke me at the start. I said he hasn't played enough to get slapped for breaking bonuses to know to leave me alone. Although, I, like, that wasn't a bad break. I lost all my troops taking it. There's no reason he should let me hold. He's still in my way. <laughs> he hit this four and left a two. Wait. Oh, fortify. What kind of fortify was that? One troop backwards? Dude, this guy's completely lost his mind. Okay. Red got to hold it. Wait, green didn't break red. It went up. Interesting. And it also went up in here. Dude, if yellow... See, yellow's also new. I mean, his name doesn't suggest it, but like, he's not letting my four out. Is he going to hit green and green? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm gonna uh, just go this way. The problem is I want the four to go a different direction. I want it to go up into the right or something. I kind of want a full stack on the three. And then if I have a trade on three, maybe there's a situation I can kill somebody. Like, maybe even green? Yeah, we'll just do that. Maybe these guys don't go for the green kill, and it surrounds me and I get it. What do I have? Double cavalry and a dude card. If I split here with, like, two fives or something, it might be more difficult. This might actually also... No, it won't break. It's going to just surround me. Okay. This I like. If nobody kills green, I can kill green into a trade and hold this bonus, presumably. My opponents are newish. Red is an ally. Purple's an ally. Blue is nuts, and he, but he's above me, and I, if I'm under this wall, Blue might try some stupid shit not knowing what's going to happen to him. He might roll me 
and not realize I get three defender dice. Yeah, SMG, please give us more stuff. I I, I would love it. I would love it. <clears throat> I'd like to see Lord of the Rings Risk Online. You have the board version. That's harder because uh, SMG licenses through Hasbro, but to get a Lord of the Rings thing, you'd also have to work with... Uh, we'd have to dig up Tolkien and, and get a contract with him or something. I don't know how exactly it would work, but three on one. You're going to take a bonus now? You know how you didn't let me hold a bonus because you're dick? I'm going to let you hold that if you take it. Go for it. Maybe you're scared. Maybe I can kill you. Wait, he fucking lets purple hold? You dingle. All right, all right. Yellow. If I mean red. I mean red might kill green. Red's probably the most likely to kill green. He's got a seven and a six just pointing at these little troops. But red might also be thinking about this bonus. It looks like he might be. Or he's just trying to guard here instead of two territories. This is a single. He's got a three-point guard instead of a four. So that's just natural progression from his position. Uh, yellow trades on. I do lose my four stack because he didn't let me ever get it out. Well played. This is you being stupid. You know, he loses one troop. Doesn't get punished for it. It's fine. Uh, it's a license thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a license thing. You don't want licenses when they expire, you lose your game. Yeah, that's that's a, definitely a risk. Wait, he didn't even take the bonus. He just smokes my four and leaves it. I'm basically dead, Doug. What a rough game. Yeah, he's going to take this bonus. No, he's guarding? He's thinking. Yeah, he's guarding. Yep, give Red a thumbs up. He wants to take this bonus, and I'm going to let him, and then maybe Blue trades and hits him. I don't know. Blue's kind of nuts. Yep, 9 on 4 or chill. Maybe he splits and chills? Thing is, if I let green trade, and this is a big enough stack, it might hit red instead of me. But I think I kill green. Like, I was hoping if, if I lose this 4, at least what yellow's going to hit this green too. So I have less bot troops to kill for my trade, but no, it doesn't even do that. Purple's not hitting it. Okay, so I do kill green. Let's pray that green has an artillery card. Imagine green has triple dudes. I will actually just be dead. If green has triple dudes, I will just be... Wait, can I even kill it? I have so little troops, I don't know if I can kill it. Do I make this a six? I need to make use of all my attacking troops, right? Okay. Oh my god, my dice! If you don't have an artillery, I'm going to cry. Yes. Yes, back-to-back -back big trades. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, he had the perfect cards to give me two big trades. Alright, we're in the game. We have 23 troops, four cards. If I live for one more turn and hold my bonus, we have a game. Then we can start using alliances and troop positioning. Red, a thumbs up and a heart. Yes. <clears throat> I like thumbs up and heart. Red wants the second bonus and I'm not going to stop him. If he has a three and a two and I have a four, I'm perfectly fine with that. Also, he'll own a giant chunk of the board uh, territory, like uh, visually, right? This is a giant portion that if it's red, it feels more threatening. <clears throat> Woo! I believe in the Ram Dingler. Go get him, Kyle. Woo! Should have pulled the two up. Well, the blue is going to hit this. I'd rather save the three than the two. Orange is going to hit the two anyways. But I think blue is also going to hit the three. Anyway. Blue is going to get smoked by red. <clears throat> I'm going to offer him an alliance. I offer yellow an alliance. Maybe he ram dingles me. I don't know. I'm in the middle of the board, so it is a very vulnerable position. But maybe he does a weird split and guards his bonus. 
And then I can give him a thumbs up when he accepts my alliance and we can be friends. That's a friendly... Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Bro, Mr. Buzz coming in. What's up, dude? I got bitches all on my dick in every way. <laughs> bitches sucking on my balls. That's Mr. Buzz right there. Dude's got a great rap song he released. That's, that's why he's famous. But uh, thank you for the raid, bro. I appreciate it. Mr. Buzz is an excellent Risk player and Legion. What is it? Legion TD? I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, thank you for the raid, man. I caught a little bit of your stream earlier in the morning. So uh, most, most of the times when I watch you, I'm just lurking with coffee in the morning or something. But uh, thank you. What's up, James? First live stream, but watch all your videos, dude. Best Risk streamer out there. Way better than Pete. Congrats on all the success. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You don't gotta say way better than Pete. People like Pete better too. People like Pete. People like JJ. People like Olive. People like Phil. People like everybody. I'm missing names, of course, but oh, raw doggy. Oh my god. Everybody has their preferences. <laughs> Wait, who likes JJ? Hey, we're gonna talk about JJ's round one game yet, or round six game yesterday. You guys want to talk about JJ's game from yesterday? We're gonna talk about it. Don't you worry. We're talking about that shit. I'm sorry, Mallory. Of course I'm going to miss names and people are going to hate me. Purple and red are tag teaming the shit out of yellow right now. Blue has... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, doggy time. So red and purple are working together. Do I still kill blue? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, indeedy. What do I hold? I hold a cavalry. These fucking dice, bro. What dice was that? Four on a four, three on a three, eight on a seven. Give red a heart and give purple a heart? Put my 11 point in that yellow? Dude, these dice man? 3 on a 3, 4 on a 4, 8 on a 7. Oh my god. The, the, the turn 1 dice? So the dice haven't been good. I, I It only shows this, but I've been doing more attacking than... Uh, than like, I killed the bot, I killed blue. Like, when you're doing more attacking, you should be getting positive rolls. So even uh, neutral rolls would be bad dice right now. <clears throat> he just retakes and chills. He's on three cards. How do I get red and purple to fight? Like, I... There was part of me that didn't want to kill blue. And maybe I shouldn't have. Like, that's a profitable killer it's supposed to be. But killing blue there might lose me the game in the sense that I think blue was going to trade and hit these guys. Maybe me too. But I think blue causing mayhem would have been better for me to have a better chance at winning than letting red and purple kill yellow and then probably team me. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What's up? A wall. A wall around. I'm playing a 2v2 with him tomorrow. He's such a great 2v2 partner. It cracks me up that he's also a risk villain. Good old JJ. You wanted to kill him, you had to pay the dice gods. Why? I You're allowed to have two bonuses, but I'm not? What kind of signal is that? Why? I mean, like, you're allowed to have a plus five. I can't have a plus six. 
I was cool being four when you had five, but you're not cool being five when I have six. Right? <laughs> Yellow won't ally me. The only hope I have, like, I'm very concerned about having to play a 1v2 against these guys later. Plethora, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome in. <clears throat> you think, oh, that was his only card? Did he actually lose another roll? Did I miss that? No, he got card on yellow. Oh no, he was manualing. Winner Eric, winner Eric, winner Eric. Yeah, okay, he didn't actually get a card. Okay, okay, thank you for pointing that out, because I was not paying enough attention. Oh my god. Damn it, he traded. He's gonna kill yellow. Dude, if purple didn't trade and kill yellow, I could have killed yellow and purple and punched red and won the game. I would have won the game that turn if purple didn't trade. Great dice. I could trade kill red trade, but I'll lose to purple. So I, I can take second here. Is he going to hit purple? He says thumbs up. Like, I can't be dead center of these guys, right? This bonus sucks. This is a plus three. I don't want to... I took another bonus. Give purple a thumbs up and give red a thumbs up. Attack my territory if you need to, to attack purple. Or he's going to take the bottom bonus. Yeah, so I had a guaranteed second, but I'm playing for first. and Now I'm trying to be out of the middle. I probably lose the middle, but if purple takes the middle, then red and purple can be proximity. Uh, beside each other. I don't like that I have twos and threes here instead of ones, but <clears throat> I was doing weird holds earlier. <clears throat> we're within a 36. Is, we're in a balanced end game. Yeah, I'm telling him to attack my territory if you need to. I hope he also hits red. Only me? Only me. But if he hits these threes, it's like hitting a three cap, no? Uh. Balanced endgame, bro. You, Terry, you didn't fucking hit red at all, dude. I don't want to be in the middle. I'll give him the thumbs up. Like, now I'm positioned where I could hit red. Sort of. This is... Aw, oh man, red got so much. 14. 
12 territories, a 2, 3, and a 5. <clears throat> I don't want my stack beside purple stack. Because our stacks collide, I lose, right? I talk about that all the time. <clears throat> Red's going to take a card and pass. Fuck. You gonna take that bonus? Okay. That is so greedy, but it, he's been getting away with it. Yeah, I feel like he's breaking some of that. Red might roll over the wall here with the 19. He might, like, you should go around it, but he might roll over the wall. Okay, I'm gonna work with purple here if he's gonna lead the way like that. <laughs> I don't like that his 36 only pointed at me. I have a trade? Ah! Stupid wild card and two cavalry as usual. Oops. We're still kind of equal, all of us. Now I'm only pointing at red, though. But I'm like... If they're fighting up here, that's good for me. I've, I've kind of got a position where they can touch. If I'm dead, like this dead center bonus hurts in the three player end game. There, he hit the three cap and only lost the four. Oh, he's tasting it on the troops. He just takes all the bonuses? He's so greedy, dude. Does he break purple too? No. Takes his bonuses back, breaks my one. Purple's 34, can't, okay. Does he open the 34? Please open the 34. He's Red is so aggressive. He's pissing two people off at once. And he opens the 34. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Red's got 42 troops and four cards. Give him a thumbs up. If he hits the eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up. The more he hits, the better this is. Game might be over right now. I think the game's over now. That enough? I don't need to trade. I can save my wild and hopefully have something better happen. 50 troops can kill red. That should be game. Let's see. Let's see if that's game. Yeah, you're too greedy, Red. Oh, that's good dice. Hitting this one is safe. I'm not hitting a stack coming over the wall, so that's fine. Yeah, and now I've got a giant stack with a double trade. We'll just kill purple and end it. Boom, baby! Let's go. Oh yeah, beautiful game on on uh, Shing Ching Ching Dynasty Shang Dynasty. I always pronounce it wrong because I am uh, not the most cultured man. Let's go. Good game. Well played. I'll take that. Woo! Let's go! GG, guys. Good game. Two, two epic games to start today. I'm feeling good on a Saturday, man. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday so far as well. Let's check the ranks. Yeah, yeah. Not surprised at the ranks at all. It can be very difficult playing around newer players. And uh, we managed to... Uh, so there's a lot of keys there. Don't overreact to blue breaking you. I had a terrible spawn, right? Terrible start to the game. Don't overreact to blue breaking you. Try to hold on. Try to use some alliances in the end game. I wanted to go first and second with red, but red just wanted to take a bonus and hold, and he wanted me to fight purple while well, he did nothing. If red would have contributed to the purple fight, I would have contributed more to the purple fight. And then, because uh, I think it was red goes, I, I forget the turn order, but I wanted more from him. 
whether I was right or not to, to expect it. But uh, anyways, we found that opportunity in the, in the end. We got out of being in between the two newer players so they could be bordering and them bordering. That's where the tension started to fly. If I'm literally the line in the middle, then their tensions are going to fly only with me. So thank you for joining until the end of the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.